Thanks for joining us today for our butterfly snack craft. This snack will give the butterflies in your garden a much needed energy boost during spring and summer. Did you know? Butterflies exist all over the world, except in the most cold places. They're also really important to our environment because they pollinate plants as they drink nectar. For our actual snack craft, we're going to need a cup of water, half a cup of brown sugar, and one overripe banana. The tools we're going to need for this are a stove top or burner, a pot, a mixing bowl, a mixing spoon, paper plate, a pencil, measuring cups, and some string. Let's get started. The first thing we'll do is peel our banana and put it into our bowl so that we can mash it. Then we'll take our banana, our sugar, and our water and put it into our pot on a medium to low heat. We're going to initially let it cook until it starts to simmer and then we'll keep letting it cook until it becomes sticky. The way you'll know your mixture is done is when the contents of your pot have decreased significantly and almost all the water has evaporated. When we move our mixture around our pot, it tends to stick to itself, as well as sticking to the spoon. We'll put this pot off to the side to cool down completely. Next, with our paper plate, we'll poke three holes in there with our pencil, about half an inch from the edge of the plate. Then, we'll tie lengths of string around each hole and then tie those lengths into, at the top to form a triangle. When our snack mixture is cool enough, we'll spread it onto the paper plate and then hang our snack on a low branch. You can also choose to hang up the plate first and then smear on the snack mixture if you desire. All that's left is to sit and wait now to spot some butterflies. Did you know? Most butterflies are brightly colored and fly during the day, while most moths are gray and fly at night. Some moths are tricksters though, and are bright like butterflies and fly during the day too. One way to tell the difference is that butterflies fold their wings up and over their back when they land, while moths lay their wings flat. 